Professor, well, I suppose a very short time now since uh, Professor Adam Habib officially took over as the new Vice Chancellor and Principal of the University of Atlantis Rand. The man whom most of us know here as the bold political analyst has over 30 years of academic and institutional experience under his belt. He has taken over from uh, Professor Loiso Nontra, who has uh, served in this position for 10 years. Uh, Professor Habib is in studio now to tell us more. Good to have you. Welcome to Morning Live. It's a pleasure. It's wonderful to be here. Yeah, you know, I mean, you've been in it for a while now. Uh, how's it been? What's it like? Well, I've been there for three months in a three designate state, uh, status. So, you know, Luisa was there. I was just shadowing him. Uh, I've been officially on the job for three days, actually. For three <laughs> days? So yes. it's official for three days That's now? That's right. Last week, Friday. Okay. And? And it's a baptism of fire. You <laughs> know, it's, been, it's been great. This is a wonderful institution. It has wonderful people. Yeah. I think it's a very special university at the heart of the nation. Yeah. And so people have a lot of stake in it. Uh, you'd be amazed at the amount of people who've actually written in and said, congratulations, and here's what we'd like you to think th about, etc. Yeah. WITS is very special for people. Mm -hmm. And partly it's because in Johannesburg, partly it's at the heart of the nation, partly it's because so much has happened in this about this country at WITS. And so, you know, people, people take it personally. You've been in this um, following, Luisa, as you were saying, for a while now. And yes, people are writing into you and saying, please think about these things. But what are you thinking about? What, what is it that you want to do to the institution? Look, I think there's three or four things. I think if you if you want a summary of it, the, the best description is we want to build a world-class institution in Africa. We think world-class institutions are not the preserve of everywhere else. It should also be in Africa. And there's a couple of things we're going to do. The first was we need to help students pass. 73% more uh, in, in, in other parts of the country do not pass on time. So if you have a three-year degree, people are taking four and five years. Huge waste of manpower. What we need to do is ensure that people pass on time and they finish the degrees on time. So that's the first thing. Lots of support for teaching. Lots of support for research. We're going to drive research in a big way. This is one of the top universities on the African continent. It should be providing cutting and edge knowledge. Yeah. And thirdly, if you want to provide, a build a world-class institution, it mustn't simply be pr the preserve of the rich. Poor people, talented people from poor backgrounds must have the right to come here. So we're going to offer an, a series of what I call the equality scholarships. The vice chancellor currently gives 10 merit scholarships for the best in the country. Mm. We're going to now offer another 10 for the best in tier one and two schools. Fantastic. That's the schools that are most marginalized because why? WITS must be part of creating hope in our society. And how do you create hope? By giving parents and the, the children the opportunity to transcend their life circumstances. Yeah. Now, you know, I, I've, I've sat with you on many occasions and we've analyzed politics and we've sat and spoken about elections and, and everything that's happening. Now, you're in the thick of it all. Yes. You know, you, you get to work on your very first day and there's a protest by workers. That's right. Now, I mean, that's a nice welcome for you. Tell us a bit more about those. Well, that's a, a bit of an odd thing. A bit, you know, previously I was always analyzing yeah, events. Uh, and now I'm immersed in the events. Yeah. And so it's something that you've got to actually deal with. I try and deal with it as, you know, it, I try to be uh, broadly try to be uh, have a sense of integrity about this to act within the framework of the mandate of our constitution but I've also got the responsibility to create a financially sustainable institution and how you balance the issue is fundamentally about uh, is, is what we need to do about it I mean I've always said and I, th I still believe this leaders in of public institutions must act with a sense of integrity mm. and I would like to ensure that I do so at Wits University good Vits is seen as elitist by a lot of people. Uh, it's a reputation that it has. You know, uh, what do you think? I think it, it the universities by the very nature can be, uh, can be elitist. But I must say this, this is why I'm so keen on offering 10 equality scholarships. This is why it's so important that talented people in poor backgrounds must also have access to world-class institutions. So is it going to be at the cutting edge of knowledge? Yes. Mm. Is it going to be world-class? Yes. But is it going to provide access to the talented across the class spectrum? Yes. Yeah. And that's what we should, we should be trying to do at WITS. Yeah. Uh, obviously, there's a focus for local because that is, that's, it's vital that we, that we service the youth here in South Africa. And I imagine uh, on the continent as well. Internationally, um, is, is WITS renowned internationally? Or is it I still think it something is, you're growing? It is. I mean, I was, I was in London like, uh, two or three weeks ago with Luiso, and, and it's amazing the kinds of interactions we had with a series of, of global players. I mean, the great thing about, often people think that to be world-class and to be international, 
that you have to imitate the foreign. Mm. Actually, it's the opposite. You need to conquer the local. You need to respond to your local and you need to innovate in relation to your local. And if you can innovate in relation to your local, you become world class because you're specific. So think about the places, the areas where, wo where WITS is world class on mining engineering. What were we doing? We were innovating to help and figure out how do you, how do you mechanize, how do you deal with deep level mining engineering. Yeah. And what, what that made us is world class. Yeah. If you look at paleontology, this is the best place in the world for paleontology. Mm. In a couple of months, this is going to be the best place in the world for astrophysics. Mm. So if you want to be world class, the irony is don't imitate the foreign. Conquer the local. Absolutely. And that gives you your specificity and your uniqueness for the global. Yeah. I, mean, I, I mean, just I know that, that WITS is expanding at a rapid rate. I mean, you talk about paleontology and, and, and you, tr I, if I'm not mistaken, I think you're trying to build a, a, a huge new section under the, the, the name of, of Professor Philip de Bias. That's so right. that's celebrating local. Absolutely. And we do it in, in, in its multiplicity of wa wa ways. I think we're going to be, I think WITS is growing. I mean, it's now 30,000 students. In 10 years, we hope to be 50% of our students will be postgraduate. Yeah. This is going to be one of the great universities of the African continent. And I think it's important for South Africa to have world-class institutions because the only way we can compete globally is if we have world-class institutions like WITS. Well, Professor Adam Habib, we wish you the best of luck. Um, Professor, officially now the Vice Chancellor of WITS University and uh, taking up that role on Monday. Thank you for being our guest here on Morning Life. Pleasure. All right, let's take a break. When we return, we've got some music on the program. Uh, Kabombo, Memory Remains, the double album. That's our guest, stay tuned. Looking forward to chatting to him. And of course, he's playing us out as well, stay tuned.